Can the full moon make you crazy? Will you turn into a werewolf, a lunatic? I'm the Beverly Hills Shrink. Let's begin your session. Hello, I'm Dr. Jory Goodman, a neuropsychiatrist who's practiced in the Beverly Hills area for more than 45 years. Are you lunatics out there? Luna means moon in Latin. Luna, lunar, lunatic, lunacy. These are old words. We didn't coin them this century or the last century. They're hundreds of years old. The legends of people becoming crazy during the full moon are based upon fact. They've been embellished for centuries but they're based upon fact. Ask any first responder, ask any ER doc, ask any psychiatrist who's paying attention. Full moon, there's a massive increase in violence, in psychosis, in ER visits. It may not be on the day of the full moon, it's sometimes a little bit before or a little bit after, but it's true. And there are two biological facts that we can identify. Light is number one. Electromagnetic fields is number two. The first ones may be the easiest to understand. Light affects our mood. Seasonal affective disorder is caused by a change in the wavelength of sunlight. People become depressed in autumn and perk up in the spring, sometimes becoming manicky. And that's just from sunlight. Sunlight also causes problems for people with a disease called porphyria. Bright exposure to sunlight causes hemoglobin to break down in their body. Characteristics are psychosis, violent behavior, aggression. Physical symptoms are red rashes, hirsutism, a lot of hair. They often have their hairline right up below their eyes and low on their forehead. And in bad cases, their teeth become red. This is from hemoglobin. It's rare, but exposure to light can trigger it. Those are biologically certain facts. What's the more common thing? Changes in electromagnetic fields. We know that the tides change with the phase of the moon. Animals change their behaviors based upon the phase of the moon. How do animals know that it's time to fly south for the winter. Do they go in the kitchen and look at their calendar and say, Edna, we've got to go now. It's going to be winter. No, suddenly they just start to fly south. It's been proven that if you take animals that change color every season, put them in a little cage with a wire around it and a nine volt battery and a voltmeter and change the electric current the animal's behaviors change. They start molting or changing color. These are tiny, tiny changes in electrical voltage. It's known that there are electromagnetic fields around the Earth. Our bodies are like bioelectric machines. The brain transmits from one neuron to another. It does it chemically, but there is electricity involved. These subtle shifts in gravity or electromagnetic fields that occur with the phases of the moon cause ion fluxes, sodium, potassium, calcium, things inside the cells that go in and out through the cell membrane. Changes in these electromagnetic fields cause ion flux. Now, most people don't notice it. They don't. But with people who are predisposed to certain illnesses, their behavior changes dramatically. Episodes of anger, rage, mania, off the, off the charts. We can look back to the Middle Ages where these terms were coined when lunacy was first described. At the full moon, some people would go out of control. And in little hamlets and villages throughout Europe, people would be scared. They would stay inside because on the full moon, there'd be people wandering around who were crazed and violent. A few of them may have had porphyria. A few of them maybe were schizophrenic. We don't know. We weren't there. They're, they couldn't diagnose and record all of that then. But that's where it started. Interestingly, just as an anecdote, I mentioned porphyria earlier. And 
the reddening of the teeth and the excessive hair growth and the psychosis. Therein lies the beginning of the werewolf story. Should you put magnetic fields around your house? No, I don't think so. But be aware that these things are true. These aren't throwaway lines. And if you or a member of your family has problems around the full moon, then talk to somebody who knows what they're doing and they can help you. Well, our session is almost done. Thank you for joining me today. If you have a topic you would like to hear about, please mention it in the comments section and I'll try to get to it for you. Because of the nature of content on this channel, we may have difficulty in being monetized. So, please consider supporting my Patreon. The link will be in the description below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And please be on time for your next session with the Beverly Hills Shrink.